Are you ready? My tea is hot. Spill the tea, sis. <laughs> The best thing about being a stepmom is I get to be super cool and super hip with the kids now. Don't ever say that. Come here. Hi guys, welcome back to Being Bash. I am so excited for this video. I got this package in November. Ew, there are a bunch of crumbs just came out. Whoops. And when Tokyo Tree reached out to me, I was really excited because I knew my stepdaughter would especially be very excited to do this with me. So I wanted to include her in this video. So poop. Since this was in November, this is kind of autumn themed snacks, but they kind of change a little bit throughout the season. So keep that in mind if you are thinking about purchasing one. Each region in Japan is known for different kinds of foods, different kinds of specialties. So as we kind of go through these different snacks, I'll kind of tell you where these were from and like a little bit of fun facts about them because I did do some research on the different snacks and the different parts of Japan because I didn't just want to try the snacks. I kind of wanted to learn about the culture as well. So, yeah. I should also mention that a little, okay, this is like a bad fact about me is that I have a pet peeve, I guess you could call it, of like little sounds like chewing or wrappers. This video is traumatizing for me to edit. Does anyone else have that too? Like, I don't know, it's just super like agitating, I guess is the good word for it. Ready to open the box. Yes, it's like for our first impressions. Okay. Dad, why are you doing oh. <laughs> Treat yourself. Okay, so there's this little booklet. I, I guess it just explains what everything is. So the first thing I noticed when we opened up the box was this little guidebook. And although we couldn't read the ingredients or like anything else, it was nice to just kind of know where the food it was coming from and it had like little facts about each little snack or treat. So that was really helpful. Because we can't really read it. <laughs> The box comes with some, this is the premium box, they also have like different types of packages you can buy, but this was the premium, so it did come with a little bit more luxurious things like the um, drink. Not all of the boxes come with that, so this was one of the premium items. Geez, save some for us, bro. Right. Come on now. Yeah, it tastes like Coke with a hint of apple. So I thought this tasted really good, don't get me wrong, but it kind of tasted like like apple flavored vodka. Okay, well I won't know what that tastes like, so. How was college for you? So I'm probably gonna butcher all these words. So you can roast me in the comments below. I deserve it. <laughs> Shizuoka. Hokkaido. Elmari. Nippon. Shizuoka. So this drink in particular was inspired by Elmari. El so this is the land of apples and orchards. The next snack was a corn potash snack and I'm not gonna make any corny jokes, but this smells corny. This smells corny. Does it smell like what these? Smells, smells like, like Indiana. Indiana. It smells like Indiana. This snack kind of tasted like one of my favorite cereals. It reminds me of Captain Crunch. It's the same type. Yes. Yes, that makes sense. Ooh, okay. So this was inspired by the Northern Prefecture of Hokkaido. I think I'm saying that right. They're known for a lot of different things, but particularly corn, which I can appreciate as a Indiana woman. This was a really good snack because it was crunchy, it had flavor, and potage is actually a kind of thicker soup that they have in Japan. Or it could be like stews or portages. And I thought this was super interesting when I was researching because I actually had no idea. But Japan is actually called Nippon. I think is how you say it. Again, don't come at me or come at me, whatever. In Chinese characters, this means the origin of the sun. And that comes from the position that Japan sits in relation to the sun. Oh, I gotta go to work. Okay. That's Love funny. ya. Love you. All right, hubby, time to get out. You gotta save the good stuff for the gills. Bye-bye. All right, let's try. Kimber. Okay, these look interesting. Yeah. 
So this was kind of a fun little thing. Um, it was called Doki Doki Fishing Kit. Each box, um, no matter what kind of package you get, comes with a DIY Japanese like snack kit game thing. Make your own grape flavored fish candies. And they come with instructions, and a lot of the times they're just really fun for kids to play with. What? Japanese you try to say in Japanese. No. You can't eat, there's not even letters. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. You know that both of us not like a Japanese. Doki Doki Fishing. Okay, so it comes in a little kit. What? And there's directions, duh. Yeah, but it's not in English. <laughs> it's a weird fish. Don't judge it. Um, the fish don't judge you, Lily. It's because it doesn't have, like, it, it can't judge. This is a disaster. <laughs> Although it was one of the messiest snacks that we tried, it was also a color changing snack. So you just had to Whoa, it's like pink. that. Shizuoka is known for their fishing. In this location, they have really great views of Mount Fiji. They have Lake Hamana, which is considered one of Japan's largest lakes fishing, doki doki. And uh, doki doki is actually a term for like the sound of your beating heart. I don't know, that's interesting. I'm gonna sound so stupid trying to pronounce these words throughout this video. And pan man apple gummies. Did I get that one right? I don't know. That's, that's scary weird. looking. <laughs> what? Ooh, this must be like, they must like apples. This is considered one of the premium treats. I'm not particularly sure why. I don't know if it's just a little bit more expensive, but this one was very gummy. Okay, I- Ooh, smell that. I want it. <laughs> oh. You broke it. Don't, Disappointment. Don't yell at me. Take that one. It's like a gummy, oh wow, it's sticky. It's really sticky. Each of the boxes contained some sort of anime snack, and I think because this one has like the little character in the front, this would be considered one of those. Oh, you know the sharks with like the blue and the white? Mm-hmm. It tastes like those, but apple. Mmm. Oh, that's really sweet. That made me tingle. Do you ever try something that's so sweet when you bite into it? It kind of like makes your teeth sensitive or kind of tingle a little bit. That's what I had when I tried this snack. When I was looking up and pan man, and pan man. <laughs> this is the hardest video to film ever. That is a children's anime character that's really popular in Japan. Um, it's a it's a superhero picture book series that they have, and it's one of the most popular ones amongst children, particularly young children. So it's kind of fun. You know, we have that in the United States too, where you'll go and find little characters on different snacks and things. Oh, I got snacks all over me. Green tea cookies. Oh, I like, Ooh. cheers. Okay, this is like really full. Okay. Cheers. Clink. Spill the tea. <laughs> matcha sandwich cookies. These matcha sandwich cookies were so this was also considered a premium treat. Um, I can see why it comes with a lot. I was so surprised at how much could fit in that box because some of these packages were so big. Kyoto. Kyoto. This is a treat from Kyoto, which is the green tea capital of Japan. They're very known for their green tea. Matcha is more concentrated in antioxidants and caffeine. And this is because they use the entire um, tea leaf and they ground it into a fine powder. So it's very, very concentrated. Oh, so they, they like, kind of look like Nutter Butters. They look like Oreos, like Nutter Butter Oreos. I can get behind that. Mm. Don't lie, you need a whole package. Okay. Let's just try these. Atsuji Luxury Potato Sea Urchin Snack. Luxury, ooh, luxury potato sea urchin flavor. Mmm. Ew. My mom actually loves this. She liked the seafood flavor, but when you open it up, it just does not smell great. It smells like fish. Wait, what? what's it called? Ew. That smells like fish. <laughs> um, this was inspired by the famous sea urchins of Hokkaido. 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 Ooh. 
Man, I cringe every time I say a word because I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> it's got a dead sea urchin on the back. <laughs> anyway. Hey Kodo is really known for their high quality sea urchins. They are number one in marine life. Wait, this one has Cheers. To maybe dying from this, from sea urchin poisoning or something. Not that bad. It's not as bad as it smells, that's for sure. Yeah, that's that. This had the texture of like a Lay's chip, but the flavor of seafood. There's a lot of snacks in here. Right. This is a different corn potage. Oh, what do you know? Another corn potage snack. Hmm. It's like a sliver of a potato. <laughs> this snack was considered dag, dagashi. Oh man. <laughs> Dagashi was made famous in Japan after World War II. Um, it's an inexpensive snack and it has a variety in flavor. They're usually small size and they sometimes come with a toy. Tastes like garlicky. Yeah. So they're great little snacks, um, kind of targeted towards children. I hope they have a really long arm because. <gasps> okay. Ah. okay, this is something I can say Kit Kat. We have Kit Kat, yes. Let's try to pronounce that. Oh, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <get it. laughs> These are Hojichi Kit Kats. They are a part of the premium package and they are one of amongst um, the five popular Japanese snacks that come in the bag. So these are like the most sought after snacks. Still made by Nestle. Mini, there's 12 in here. Huh. Wait, it looks like it's like tea flavored. No, that's like, that looks like um, cocoa. They come from the city of Kyoto, um, which again is known for their green teas. Hochi stands for green teas and is roasted over charcoal to have a deep, robust tea flavor. Oh wow, they're weird looking. Mm. They look like- it Smells like a candle I would want. Yum. It's like one of those tastes where you don't know if you like it or not. And then after a while, it's not you're really, like, yeah, that's good. It's not really powerful. Yeah. Like, I feel like regular Kit Kats are way sweeter. Mm-hmm. Well, Lily went and moved back to the little fishies we were working on earlier. I went ahead and went on to another snack. And oh. I will grab Hibidango. It's a sweet candy stick. Huh. Oh, okay, this is what? And it has a sweet peach flavor. What? <laughs> Whoa, these are weird. <laughs> They're so crumbly. Ooh, these look like taffy. Oh my goodness. That's really good. Is it really sweet? Mm-hmm. Ugh, it's so hard, oh my goodness. Okayama <laughs> is a prefecture in Western Japan known for Crow Castle. Um, they had the sweet candy stick inspiration for this snack. Is it good? They don't taste peach. They smell like a peach tea. Mm. What's it taste like? Nothing. <laughs> it was so hard to get the wrapper off, so I'm about to just eat it with the wrapper on it. Don't. And I, oh. <laughs> Hebe dango, two words, is a type of wagashi sweet or a snack in the area. Um, this particular snack features Momotaro, a popular hero of Japanese folklore, and that name translates to Peach Boy, which kind of makes sense because of the peach flavor. Hmm. Okay, I want you to try one of these after you're done with that, but. This is a bit messy, okay. <laughs> it's like something Chance would do. Anything messy. Mm. Yeah. That's just like a, that, that will, reminds me of. That will give you. What baby bottle pops. Yes. Okay, these are like, these look like little pretzels. Powerky brown sugar flavor. Is brown sugar different in Asia? So this was inspired by Okinawa, which is the smallest and least populated southern island of Japan. Oh, okay, these look nothing like the picture. Maybe they're like chocolate covered. It's brown sugar covered. These are actually really good. They were crunchy pretzel sticks with a brown sugar flavor. 
but I honestly cannot stand listening to this part. It's pretty good. It's like brown pretzels. But still have more. Oh, I don't know if I like this. What is it? Mochi, I've never tried mochi, but my friends say it's really good. Okay, we'll have to split this one. The texture when I first opened it really confused me. It was very, it was like cheese-like, like melted cheese. Like you were breaking open a grilled cheese sandwich. <gasps> <laughs> uh, problem. I don't like it. Mochi cocoa was not my favorite, I gotta say. So this was from Yamanashi, known for their chewy mochi. Fiji Yoshida Fire Festival is known for marking the end of the year. And it's like the end of climbing season for Mount Fuji. So they have a big celebration there. So that's probably like what they're most known for. That's good. Coated in chocolate and filled with the yummy chocolate cream. Mm. And mochi is a Japanese rice cake made of mochi gome. <laughs> Um, which is just a glutinous rice. It's really chewy. You can say that again, but you know what? These look interesting. Another apple flavor. The next one was green apples in a bag. And this was pretty good, although very, very chewy. I like us in Indiana, apples, corn, A potatoes. mysterious texture. Mochi, jelly, gummy. It's got it's a, a little oh, toothpick. It came with its own stick. So we're going back to the prefecture of Oamari, Aomori, <laughs> known for their delicious apples. This kind of had like a mysterious, sticky, gummy, jelly texture. It almost tastes like it would be a gum at first. Yeah. It's really chewy. <laughs> yeah. It's like gum. They really like their textures, apparently. Mm -hmm. Japan, the city of textures. I like all their little cartoons. Toke or Takoyaki Umebo. Takoyaki Umebo. This one was like not my favorite either. Um, this would be considered a Degashai treat. And this was inspired by Osaka. It is uh, the land of Tokiyaki, uh, which is basically fried dough covered in octopus. Umebo just means a puffed corn snack. So think of like our puffy Cheetos or something we have here in the US. Whoa, wow. that's some. This smells like garlic corn. <laughs> like garlic, uh, what does this taste smell like? It smells like something. Here, just do it over the box. <laughs> okay, pause. Is it just me or does it look like we're smoking a cigar here? I would definitely consider this more of like a savory treat, but um, Lily made a good point about like a very accurate flavor it had. It tastes like burnt something. It's like a cheese puff. Mmm. It is like See? a burnt cheese puff. Yeah, burnt cheese puff. Ooh, these were so good. The Constellation chocolate cookies. This is inspired by the prefecture of Saitama, known for their chocolates. And yeah, this is one of my favorites because it tasted like a chocolate covered cookie and you can't really go wrong there, can ya? Mm. It's a cracker with chocolate. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Right. Okay. We're getting down to the last three. This one was pretty good. It was from um, Okinawa. It's a brown sugar and honey bar, and it's very crispy. Brown okay. sugar bar. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. It's very crumbly. <laughs> it's papery. Mmm. That does melt in your mouth. You can hear me. It's really light. You don't like it? Mm -mm. <laughs> it's just like the wafer part of a something with a wafer. Japanese Kokuto is the world's healthiest brown sugar. It's high in calcium, potassium, and iron. And Okinawan brown sugar is prized in Japan for their deep, intense flavor. 
two left. Toki is known for drakey, which is basically a type of pancake sandwich with red bean custard. Oh, I read that one instead of the, oh, oopsies. And these little treats used to consist of one layer, but since 1914, it has its current shape that you see today. Hmm, it tastes like a chocolate pancake. So a lot of the children that are watching like little anime shows and everything, they really like the Doraemon anime character. Doraemon, Doraemon loves Doraki. I think it's Doraikai. Man, these are hard words. <laughs> And last but not least, we have a chocolate pie. Ooh. And as I've noticed, as we've been trying the snacks, Lillian is getting more and more afraid of the snacks. Why you give me a bigger piece? Because you're the child. Ugh. The last four, you're like, no, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> so this pie comes from the prefecture of Saitama, known for chocolate, which is the same as the constellation cookies that we tried. And it's basically just a, a silky chocolate creamy flavor wrapped in a pie crust, which, you know, it's pretty good. What was your favorite? Mm, the Kit Kat. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, let's dig through here. So Lillian is a true Indiana queen. Uh, I actually like these. You like these the most? Yeah. Out of everything? Yeah. A round piece of corn? <laughs> yep. So these are probably my favorite. Yeah. Because I love Nutter Butter. That's my favorite. And these kind of taste like Nutter Butter. Would you buy this box for yourself? Yeah. Is it everything you ever dreamed of in your life? I don't know about that, but. <laughs> okay. Benito. Benito. Now, if you want to try this box for yourself, you can go to tokyotreat.com. Um, if I can get any kind of discount codes or any kind of giveaways or anything like that, it'll be in the description box down below so you can check that out. The premium box, which is what I have, is $31.50, but like I said, they do have other options available. But this box does come with 17 full-size items, which I think is awesome. And not to mention, it is free shipping. So I do think this is a really great gift if you know someone that's like super into um, trying other foods from different cultures or someone that loves to travel or maybe someone that loves like anime. I think someone of any, I think even like someone like me and Jer, we could still enjoy it too because you know, who doesn't love food? All right, I'm sure this video is getting super long, so I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I appreciate it so much. I have so many ideas for this channel of like fun little things like this to do. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below on some requests you want me to see next, or maybe there's another subscription box you want me to try. Um, I think that would be really fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.